Back in 2021, Musk did say that he had early discussions with other automakers about licensing self-driving technology, but that didn't lead to anything. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Tesla has finally started releasing its FST bit of 12 update to customers, which is sort of its last hope to deliver on its self-driving promises. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Tesla's full self-driving version 12, or as we'll affectionately call it, FST 12. Also, we're about to explore whether this latest update is a beacon of hope for self-driving technology or not. Let's get started. About FSD V12, Tesla has finally released its highly anticipated FSD V12, which many believe is the key to fulfilling the company's self-driving promises. This update is not labeled as beta software, instilling hope in Tesla enthusiasts. Initially slated for a 2023 release, it slipped into 2024, and was only available in Tesla's internal test fleet. Now, it's finally making its way to customers. Its features The FSD V12 is packed with advanced features aimed at enhancing the self-driving experience. From improved object recognition to more robust decision-making algorithms, this update represents a significant leap forward in Tesla's autonomous driving technology. The Tesla V12 software update is expected to introduce what CEO Elon Musk has been calling end-to-end -end neural nets. The biggest difference with previous FSD updates is that the vehicle's controls would now be handled by neural nets rather than being coded by programmers. Tesla writes in the release notes of the update that FSD bed of 12 upgrades the city streets, driving stack to a single end-to-end -end neural network, trained on millions of video clips, replacing over 300 lines of explicit C++ code. In short, this means that the vehicle's behaviors will also be powered by AI, like its vision system, rather than coded by engineers. Many Tesla supporters believe that 12 is what is going to enable Tesla to finally deliver on its self-driving promises. They were also encouraged by Musk saying that Tesla would deliver 12, not beta software. Release date. After much anticipation, FSD 12 is now being rolled out to the public. However, its release was delayed for non-California regions, causing a stir among Tesla followers. Last year, the CEO made an announcement that Tesla would be open to licensing Autopilot and FSD to other automakers. During Tesla's Key 4 conference call that followed the release of the earnings, shareholders asked Musk about talks with other automakers about licensing FSD. Musk then called again for CEOs of car companies to engage with Tesla about licensing FSD. FSD beta drivers still need to keep their hands on their steering wheels and be ready to take control at all times. Is it a failure or a success? The big question is whether FSD 12 will be a triumph or a letdown. While supporters are optimistic about its potential to realize Tesla's self-driving vision, the delayed release and regional limitations have raised concerns about its actual capabilities. What Elon Musk says Elon Musk, the maverick CEO of Tesla, has been vocal about the company's self-driving technology. He has stated that other automakers don't believe Tesla's SD is real, as the company attempts to sell FST licenses. Musk's comments have added an intriguing layer to the discussion surrounding Tesla's autonomous driving ambitions. When Tesla first introduced full self-driving, the automaker made it sound like this would be the approach, but it ended up taking years for the company to make the leap to neural net-powered controls. Are you surprised that they don't believe it's real when you have said every year that it would come by the end of the year and it never comes? And by it coming, I mean what was promised, a true level four or five self-driving system. Now, Alon again seems to say that it will be coming this year, but it's hard to give any credibility to his statement. It's a hard problem to solve, I can't deny that, but I find it hard to give too much slack to Tesla since it decided to already sell the FST package to customers. My main concern is the hardware limitations of existing H-33 vehicles. I think Tesla might find that it can't deliver on its self-driving promise with the current hardware, but because it has already sold the package, it forces itself to find solutions. That's why I'm calling Tesla's B12 the last hope for SSD. Last say, there you have it. The inside scoop on Tesla's SSD V12 and its implications for the future of self-driving cars. Will this update live up to the hype or will it face challenges? Stay tuned to our channel as we will keep you updated. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.